Hey there Aquarius, uh, welcome to your reading for the week of December 11th. Let's see what is going on for you this week. Uh, you already have a quite positive week compared to some of the other people, but let's see. Yeah, you start off with the Eight of Hearts. A uh, great card of socializing and needing to uh, hang out with friends, I feel that for you strongly. I feel like a lot of you could be getting benefits through your friends at this time. Um, other people have had this card this week, and that has not been the message I've been delivering. So, um, you know, something different for you for sure. Um, but again, I think if you're looking for anything, love, advice, pretty much anything, I would seek out your friends. Uh, because again, I get the distinct feeling that this represents socializing for you and needing to uh, meet up with groups to kind of get some sort of benefit, like I said, uh, for yourself. And I do think it'll be a positive thing. Next, you have the Ten of Diamonds. Uh, fortune after difficulty with your finances. So more money coming in. Definitely a very good card. Uh, it can also represent travel. Uh, we also have the Four of Spades as well. Uh, four of Spades can loosely represent traveling, uh, going to, uh, you know, going to distant locations, or uh, it doesn't even have to be that distant, but it could also be a card of moving as well. Uh, this card to me also represents uh, the book. It's sometimes called the book, and it represents like learning or learning about something new. I think that uh, just over the next, um, I, I don't know, I'd say probably, you know, um, eight or nine years or so, I think that anything we want to do, if we teach ourselves something to do, do whatever it is, uh, we will see huge, huge benefits. There's a lot of, um, a lot of really good astrology right now. And for, like I said, the next like nine or 10 years, uh, that is all about like self learning and, uh, teaching yourself things and being very independent. And, um, again, I think the benefit is that for like the next few years, I think we have some, we have the opportunity to kind of like take some baby steps towards, um, becoming more independent as in like teaching ourselves how to do things. And if we do that, I think the benefits will be, you know, 10 diamonds, basically. Uh, very, very good for us. Next year, the three of spades. I'd say just take it easy this week. I think like uh, Taurus had the same message of just need to take it easy. If you need to take a break, take a break. This can be a card of getting injured at work or something because, you know, you were rushing around or you were uh, overtired or something like that. So make sure to take breaks if you need them. Uh, again, four spades card of needing to take a rest if you need to take a rest. Uh, but this card does represent a swift recovery, recovering coming in very quickly. Could be in your health or it could also be in money as well. Uh, could represent uh, financial changes. But mostly this is a card of, like I said, taking breaks, needing to take a break when you need to take a break and just relaxing and making sure that you, um, you know, you don't uh, overdo yourself this week at this time. Next, you have the two of spades, uh, changing your mind about something. I think that, again, probably over the next three three years, I would say, uh, I think people will be changing their minds a lot. And again, this could also be a card of like people's people changing their mind and having that change affect you. So again, it might not even be you. It could be somebody else changes their mind about something and it affects your life in some way. Not a bad card, not a good card, just a, you know, just kind of a meh card, I would say, uh, for you this week. Next, you have the Nine of Hearts card of wishes, getting something you wish for, getting something you want. It's also the card of victory. So uh, definitely a very good card for you. Make a wish, as I always say. Very similar to the uh, Nine of Cups and the Tarot, uh, but definitely a card of wishes and a wish coming in for you at this time. And finally, you have the Two of Diamonds, card of money, matching up with something that uh, perfectly financially really looks like a great week for you financially. There could be some new changes in finances. Uh, this can also be you getting a job, getting a promotion, or just matching up with like a business partner uh, who does a really great card for you. I would also say for those of you that have businesses, uh, just judging by these cards here, uh, these cards do say that, um, you know, again, you could be putting too much time into your business and maybe taking somebody else on uh, could be very beneficial at this time. Uh, I've said it before that I think for certain signs, Aquarius being one of them, uh, Saturn and Capricorn, which will be, you know, the next three years, uh, is going to be really important important to um, build up people and teams around you. So again, if you have a business, even if you don't have a business, you know, getting people who in your life who can help you out with things that you're not good at or, you know, areas where you're weak, um, you know, that could be very beneficial, like extremely beneficial in the near future. So definitely look into that. But it looks like a great week for sure. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.